Hi Math 62 class, my name is Brad Parcella and I'm an account director for an advertising agency out of the Empire State Building in New York City. Just to give you a little background about myself, I went to college for business administration and I minored in marketing um, and then I continued on to complete my MBA. I was always really focused in, in marketing and advertising and I was lucky enough to get a job right out of college uh, at an ad agency and I've been working at them ever since for the last eight years. Um, I've worked on tons of different ad campaigns, really everything but TV commercials. I've done radio spots, in-store displays, packaging, billboards, uh, banner ads, you name it. Um, but as of recently, uh, the last couple of years, I've really been focusing on search, organic search and paid search. And from my understanding, uh, you guys have been talking about it in your class and it was a point of interest. So. I'm going to really talk about the differences between search today, um, and then I'm going to dive deeper into paid search and how that works, and uh, the math behind it, as well as how you would analyze it. So before we get started, the one major point I want you to understand about search is that Google and other search engines like Bing um, really reward companies um, organically and in paid search who are relevant to the searchers, right? If you're relevant, if you're more relevant than a competitor, you're going to be showing up higher on the page because it, it's really a win for everyone. It's a win for the searcher because they're getting the content that they want and are searching for. And uh, it's a win for the advertisers or the companies because they're matching up with the people who want their content or their products or services, and it's a win for Google because they'll end up making more money in the long run. <laughs> so um, to really talk about the differences between paid and organic search, I want to stick with the same example uh, throughout the series of these videos. So let's pretend we're a company who is looking for data protection software just to, to keep all their data safe. So I am just going to do a very easy initial search for data protection and see what comes up. So on the search page here, uh, in the industry we call it a SERP, Search Engine Results page. So on the SERP, the first four items are ads. And it's really hard to tell the difference between an ad and, or, and an organic result. But the only way to tell is just the little word ad there. So ranking one, two, three, and four are your first four ads here on the page. And quite a bit down the page is your first ranking organic result. Uh, so this is coming up without paying for it. So another, another way to say organic uh, search is search engine optimization, SEO. So the way to optimize these pages through SEO to get a higher ranking organically is to be more relevant than the competitor. So if you have the keyword data protection throughout your copy or your content of the website, you're going to be showing up higher than somebody who does not necessarily have that in their page or not as much as you. Um, so that is the way to organically improve your search results to get it higher in the rankings, right? So you want to be more relevant and Google is rewarding you for being relevant. So Google knows I want data protection software or whatever um, and it's serving me these results. But on the paid side advertisers are paying for the spots here, the spots on the page, the top four rankings. You could pay for several rankings down the page but they are rewarding advertisers also for the use of the keyword. So the way it works in paid search is you are quote unquote buying keywords uh, to then display your ads, right? So these four advertisers are buying data protection in a live auction and they are all very relevant because they're using that keyword, they're using it in their ad copy and their headlines uh, of the ads. Um, but the difference between organic and paid is obviously the paid portion. So IBM has the first result and they are paying just slightly more than Dell 
and Solar Wind SMSP and Veritas. So that's how they're getting a bit higher up on the page. Those are really the basics between organic search and paid search. Uh, but in the next set of videos, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into paid search specifically and how that works.